All right, you got to hear this one. Today, we're unpacking one of the wildest stories I've seen come out of the Bitcoin mining community on Reddit. Seriously, it's got everything. A mysterious appliance, a trip to rural Western China, and a business model that is so clever it's almost hard to believe it's real. I mean, just stop and think about that for a second. Winter comes, you crank up the heat, and instead of your bank account getting drained, it starts getting bigger. It sounds like something out of a sci-fi novel, right? Well, apparently, for some people in a very specific part of the world, it's not a fantasy. It's just how they heat their house. And this, this is the line that kicks the whole thing off. A Redditor's visiting his friend, he sees this new electric boiler getting installed, and he asks the most normal question in the world. The answer he gets back? Nothing. Not just, oh, the boiler was free. No, no. The company installing it covers the entire electricity bill. For the whole winter. Yeah, at that point, my alarm bells wouldn't just be ringing. They'd be screaming. Something is way off here. Okay, so let's look at the clues, because this is where it gets really interesting. This isn't just a slightly weird appliance. It's huge, it's hungry for data, and it comes with free unlimited power. I mean, call me old-fashioned, but last I checked, my water heater doesn't need a 4G data plan to you know, heat water. Unless it's secretly live streaming its own epic battle against Limescale, something else is definitely going on. So, with the owner's permission, our Redditor decides to play detective and crack this thing open. I mean, what could possibly justify a company giving away free heat and paying for all your electricity? The suspense is killing me. Of course. Of course it was. Inside were four ant miner units just humming away. The big, weird box wasn't a boiler at all. It was a Trojan horse for a crypto mining operation hiding in plain sight in his friend's home. You just, you have to admire the sheer audacity. It's not just clever, it's devious and kind of brilliant. And this right here is the genius of the whole thing. See, crypto miners generate a massive amount of waste heat. It's their biggest byproduct. So this company just turned a problem, all that extra heat, into the entire point of their product. They basically turned a bug into a feature. It's this perfect, symbiotic group where the waste becomes the whole reason for being. You see, this isn't just smart engineering. This is some next-level corporate jujitsu. Step one, you register as a heating company. Why? So you can get access to that sweet, sweet, ridiculously cheap, subsidized electricity. Step two, you disguise your miners as boring old home boilers. Step three, scatter them across thousands of homes. And the result? You completely sidestep all the government bans on large-scale crypto farms because, hey, officially, you're just a friendly neighborhood utility company. It's absolutely genius. And just when you think this story can't possibly get any better, it does. Our investigator hooks his laptop into the network to see what's running, and he finds the name of the mining firmware. And it is, I kid you not, Super Cyan. Because if you're going to build a secret, decentralized crypto mining empire disguised as a public utility, you are pretty much obligated to give it a name from Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's just perfect. The Reddit community obviously thought so too. This comment from user from Dota 2 just, it sums up everyone's reaction perfectly. It's that beautiful mix of nerdy, absurd, and just plain awesome that makes this whole story so great. And you know, since this is the internet, you can't post something this good without the real tech experts immediately showing up in the comments to, like, forensically analyze every single detail. And yeah, the consensus is that Super Cyan is actually a custom version of a pretty popular firmware called Vinish. The creator even popped in to confirm it. Okay, so full disclosure, a small correction was needed. The original post mentioned an electricity price that, well, basically impossible. Turns out the actual price is three cents per kilowatt hour. But let's be real, so it wasn't actually free, it was just insanely, ridiculously, how is this even legal, cheap? At three cents a kilowatt hour, the business model is still an absolute money printer. Just maybe a slightly smaller one. So just how big is this whole operation? Well, the original poster and some of the locals did a little digging and estimated that this one company has deployed around 10,000 of these units. 10,000. Let's just be clear, this is not a quirky little startup. This is one of the largest decentralized mining operations in the world, just hiding in plain sight in people's living rooms. And that, my friends, brings us to the final multi-million dollar question. With 10,000 high-powered miners running nonstop on that ultra-cheap electricity for the entire six-month winter, how much money are we talking about here? The Redditor left that question hanging, and you know what? So will we. 
But let's just say the profits are probably enough to keep a small country very, very warm for the winter. All thanks to a heater that literally prints money.